Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to learn about Audi's new power identification system because it's confusing. Uh, before we do that, I just want to remind you that if you find this video helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Audi's current vehicle lineup is symbolized by a single letter followed by an accenting number representing both the class and type of vehicle. Pretty straightforward. The A1, for example, is the smallest car-based offering in the lineup, and the Q8 is the largest SUV offering. But now Audi is deciding to make things even more complicated for reasons I can't fully understand. Two numbers will now be added to the back of every Audi vehicle alongside the current model designation and engine type. The numbers will depend on power output and will range from 30 to 70. The number 30, for example, will appear on all models with a power output of between 109 and 128 horsepower. The number 45, meanwhile, will reference a power output between 226 and 248 horsepower. The number 50 will represent cars with an output of between 281 and 308 horsepower, and 55 will signify cars with an output of 328 to 368 horsepower. At the top of the range, the number 70 will signify Audi's performance class with models producing more than 536 horsepower. Each of the numbers will be placed alongside TFSI, TDI, G-Tron, or E-Tron badges that may already be present. The chart that I'm going to show you on the next screen will help you somewhat decipher the confusing new nomenclature. The number combinations are set to better identify Audi's product range, especially those with electric and hybrid powertrains, as well as represent a hierarchy within the brand's overall model range. As alternative and drive technologies become increasingly relevant, uh, engine displacement as a performance attribute is becoming less important to Audi's customers, says Audi AG. So on the back of a lot of Audi's, and Volkswagens, really, too, T-O-O as an also, because that's all part of the Volkswagen group, Audi is. You always see this T-F-S-I. Well, what does this acronym mean? Well, it stands for Turbocharged Fuel Stratified Injection. And it and is the concept of associating direct fuel injection, uh, and that's dubbed by Audi, with a supercharger or a turbocharger. So it's really direct fuel injection and combined with either a, some kind of forced induction, a supercharger or a turbocharger. And then we have TDI. We see TDI on a lot of different Audis and also Volkswagens. This is an abbreviation for turbocharged direct injection. And it's a marketing term that's used by the Volkswagen Group. And like I said, the Volkswagen Group actually owns quite a few different models you'd be surprised and but that's a separate video altogether so it stands for turbocharged diesel injections and it's so it's a turbocharged diesel engines that have direct fuel injection that's what tdi is all about okay so i stumbled across this information on the audi site audi has websites all across the globe uh, this is one of their websites I came across where they basically talk about Audi's vision of the future is efficient, innovation, innovative, and revolutionary. So now they have this new value. They have a reference value and a new model designations and all this stuff. And they do it in terms of kilowatt power. So if you're not sure how, how much a kilowatt power transfer to really fast, you could always come over here to Google and just do kilowatt to horsepower. And right here, you can do a kilowatt to horsepower conversion so you kind of know what's going on. So Audi's got their lineup of all their different cars. And on the back of those cars, it can range anywhere from – well, here in the States, I, I've never seen a 25 TF, TFSI, but they say they have 25 TFSI all the way up to 70, uh, 70 TFSI and TDI. And we already covered what TFSI and TDI mean. And then, of course, they tell you, uh, for instance, the 70, uh, the, the horsepower, the power output 70 designation is anywhere from uh, above 420 kilowatts of power. If we came over here to the, to, the, to the converter, we could type in 420, and we know that's above 563 horsepower we can see. 
So yeah, I mean they don't really have any else anything else to say on the page. I kind of covered all that in that in that whole intro we did. The only other thing I, I I can note here is they've been doing this whole nomenclature since the last quarter of 2018. So they say all Audi models arriving from the last quarter of 2018 onwards, right? Excluding S, R, S, and R8 models. Okay, so most Audis you see on the road are going to have this nomenclature. And this is cool down here. They have a they have a converter, so you can choose a model from the past to see uh, to see what its uh, its kilowatt powers are. But it kind of shows all that right here. We can kind of see that. So I'm not sure why they're showing us any of these, but yeah, we can kind of see all that. They got the TT Coupe, the, all the Qs, all your Q model Audis are your SUVs and stuff. So yeah, if you want to do a conversion, you want to see the power identification badge for a particular make and model, then you could. For instance, I'm about to do a build and price of the Audi A4 sedan. Um, and I think I was going to get it in the, in the 45, but I don't really see the 45 here. Like I said, I'm a, I'm on an Audi version site that's not a United, that's not a U.S. site, so they might not show all the models here. At any rate, yeah, this is it. This is how the uh, the Audi's new power identification system. So hopefully this video has helped you out. If you like Audis, I've done lots of building prices of Audis, 39 videos to date right now at the time of this video, and I've got a playlist down in the description below. So make sure you check out that playlist, and you can watch well all the Audi videos that I've done. On that note, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this information helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel.